In this video, we're going to look at the basics of Python control flow. This is if-else statements and while loops. At this point, you should have already seen the video on arithmetic and Boolean operators. Boolean operators are the basis for how we control flow in a Python program in conjunction with if statements, else statements, and while loops. So we'll start up with Python terminal. The basic control flow operator is the if statement. So let's say x is true. Then the if statement, if x, only executes if x is true. And in this case, it is. So we see that high gets printed because x is true. Alternatively, if we say that x is false, and we say if x print high, then we see that it doesn't print because x is false. In conjunction with the if statement, we have the else statement. Else is uh, basically if's counterpart, so that if the if block of code doesn't execute, the else block will. So if x print high, else print hello. In this case, we see that hello gets printed. And this makes sense. If x print high, otherwise print hello. So x is false and hello gets printed. The basic syntax uh, for if statements is if and then a statement. So blah, blah, blah goes here. And then colon indicates the end of the statement. And similarly for the else, uh, follows the same pattern, except there's no statement attached to it. So now that we've seen the basics of the if and else statement, we'll see how we can combine Boolean operators to make our statements a little more complicated. So we see that x is false, and let's say that some other variable y is true. Then we can combine these in saying stuff like if x or y do something, print hello. And we see that hello gets printed because y itself is true. Alternatively, we did if x and y, and then print hello. Hello does not get printed because x is false. And we can make these statements even more complicated, say, if not x and y, print hello. In this case, hello gets printed because not x is true. y is true, so not x and y is also true. We note that Numbers can also be interpreted as, as true and false, as we saw in the previous video in Boolean operators. So let's say x is equal to negative 5, y is equal to 5, and z is equal to 0. In this case, x and y are interpreted as true values, basically meaning that they're not 0. And z is interpreted as a false value because it is 0. So if we say if x and y or z print hello, Hello gets printed. x and y is 5, which is true, and z is 0, which is false. So the Boolean of x and y or z is true. We will now look at the while loop in Python. The while loop uh, is a type of control flow which continually executes a block of code until some statement is false. Typically, the statement is defined ahead of time and it changes in each iteration of the while loop. We'll start our Python code. We'll say that i is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0. Our while loop is going to loop as long as i is less than 10. And we see that this is true immediately because i is equal to 1. What occurs in the while loop is the real uh, part of the control flow. So we'll say s is equal to s plus i and i is equal to i plus 1. So at each, at each iteration of the while loop, i will increase by 1, and s will increase by whatever i is. We see that this will eventually terminate because i will become greater than 10. So we see at the end of this loop that s is equal to 45. This is actually the sum from i is equal to 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9. This is what the while loop is doing in this case. 
you never really implement code like this in Python because there are much simpler ways to uh, compute the sum of the first nine numbers. So in the later videos, we'll look at things like lists, which make this very easy to do. And just as a small preview, sum from range of 10 is also 45. This is what you'll learn in the more advanced materials section.